Can you see me? No, no, no. It's an illusion, right? <laughs> um, this little guy is probably my favorite book of all. Of all the books that I've read, this is my favorite. Um, and I'll go into why. But the beautiful thing about this book, and I've had it in my hands probably for the last three and a half years, that I, like the first time I saw this book was about three and a half years ago. Someone gave it to me. And I knew that person wasn't attached to the book. He simply said, I think this book is for you. Gave it to me. And I basically returned it because I appreciated him a lot. So, um, And I don't like to keep things from, strange, from other people. So I returned it and I bought myself a copy. Found it actually secondhand, the original version and so on. Um, and I've actually given away five copies of it. It is, it's one of those books that you buy and you know it's not for you, like you're not meant to keep it, that you're meant to just give that energy away to someone that needs it at, at a specific point. Now, why, why do I love this book? It's almost like my day-to-day -day guidance and I actually have the other book that he talks about in here. So the story basically goes around how would it be like to meet a contemporary Jesus? So he flies planes and he meets these messiahs and basically the, the stories are just so simple but so deep, it will blow your mind. And what I love about it is that you can open the book um, in most pages and you find little quotes. So what I do is I just let my soul pick a quote sometimes and this one says, there, is, there isn't such thing as a problem without a gift for you in its hands. You seek problems because you need their gifts. There you go. So that for me today, actually perfect, because I had to solve a few problems and I knew they were coming from me to me for a way, for a reason. Um, but yeah, so I love it because it's just conversations about what does it mean to be alive? What is, how can you transcend the body? How can you transcend matter? But in conversations between a very enlightened being and I'm not so enlightened being a normal person that just flies planes for fun and for a living. So it is an absolute inspiration. And I've read it probably seven or eight times. I think I've read it every four months or every three months because it is just so much fun. I can eat this book in a couple of hours because it's just that much fun. But I can't because you read it and the first chapter will give you three lessons, at least three that you're like, oh my God, I need to go and work on these three things because yeah, there's work to be done. So it is fascinating, just fascinating. It is definitely very cheap. Uh, it's eight pounds, 15 bucks if so, I don't know. Um, easy to get online. If you get the Messiah's handbook as well, fantastic. It's just little gifts. It's just little quotes that just blow your mind. So uh, there's also a second part, which I'm looking forward to reading. So if I do that, I will post a review. Um, but yeah, this guy also life-changing from my perspective. So do not miss out on this. If you, if you have kids, oh my God, they probably will love it because it talks about planes and engines and just how you fly and going through things and how you walk through a wall. It is very, very entertaining. So definitely recommend this guy, hands down. My favorite book right now is this little guy. All right, take care. Let me know what you think of the book, if you read it or if you read anything from Richard Bach, what you think of him. A lot of people actually praise him a lot. I've actually checked his website and the amount of people that said, you changed my life. He, he, you basically are messiahs, but his humbleness is amazing. So I love this. Absolutely love it. See ya.